Hey YouTube, this is Eddie with Infinity Toys OKC and today is Friday. It's the 4th of July weekend. I finally got off of work, but you know, before I uh, go home, I wanted to quickly make a pit stop and stop in at Vintage Stock. Um, if you don't have a Vintage Stock by you, and I don't think it's a national chain, I think it's a regional chain, but uh, they sell music, they sell movies, video games, and they also sell toys. And I wanted to make a quick pit stop because this being the 4th of July weekend, they're having a sale. Uh, having a sale on all pre-owned collectibles. So of course, of course, I have to come in and check it out, see what they got. So sit back, relax, and let's go see what they got after the intro. All right. Well, I just got out of there, and I gotta tell you, that was uh, that was that was actually pretty fun. I mean, they, as you saw from my video, they had a bunch of stuff out hanging on the walls. They had a bunch of uh, uh, loose pack, you know, and package figures out in the middle that you just have to dig through. And uh, I will say, you know, I did find some vintage stuff, but 
they were either number one, uh, pretty overpriced, or number two, they were in really, really bad shape that I did not uh, really want to pick it up. So uh, let's just quickly look at what I did find. So I did find some good stuff. Now, first thing is this Power of the Force Land Speeder. Uh, I was trying to get the glare off. You know, this was what, 1995? So I thought this was really cool. Glad I picked it up. So there's that one. I got uh, a couple of these Lego minifigures. This of course is the Imperial Guard. And what's better than one guard, but two guards. So I got two of these suckers. Nice pickup. Uh, sticking with the Lego theme, I got another Lego Stormtrooper minifig. And this one actually, I picked him up because he had his blaster. So 100% complete, had to pick him up. And then this guy I found, this is Martian uh, Manhunter. So DC, uh, was it Unlimited? And I just thought he looked really cool. This is a translucent one. Um, good price on him and had to pick him up. But the best find of today was a vintage uh, bulletproof. This is version two. This is about 1993. And this was in one of those bins that you have to dig through. And I was very happy that I found him. And surprisingly, his joints are actually in really, really good shape. So, you know, to find him, of course he's uh, it just this is just a figure. He doesn't have any of the accessories, weapons, anything. But you know what? Uh, to, to, to find him in a dig through bin, I'll take it. So, anyway, there it is. You know, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video of, of me going and digging around in vintage stock. Um, if you haven't done so, guys, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, and be sure to check out my other videos. And as you know, I, as I'll go through and, and document all my toy hunting adventures. So until next time, be safe, keep collecting vintage rules. Take care.